Good morning. Happy Sabbath. Welcome to Family Sabbath School. I'm Pastor Chelsea. We have a pretty exciting story today. It's found in John chapter 11. And I really encourage you, after we're done here together with this video, to read this story as a family. This is the story of Jesus and Lazarus. And there are so many important things that happen in this story that you can talk about together that I don't want you to miss out on that opportunity. So read John chapter 11 and the story of Lazarus on your own after this um, lesson today together as a family. But I'm just going to give you kind of my brief overview of this really, really awesome story. So there were these three siblings a brother named Lazarus, and two sisters named Martha and Mary, and they were really good friends with Jesus. But one day Lazarus got sick, like really, really sick, and his sisters began to get really worried about him. And so they sent word to Jesus that Lazarus was sick because Jesus was in a different town. He wasn't really close to where they were. So they sent word that Lazarus was sick, and I imagine they were probably hoping or even maybe expecting that Jesus would immediately heal Lazarus of his sickness because that was something that Jesus often did for people. He healed their sickness. But instead, he didn't do that. In fact, he didn't really do anything. He and his disciples stayed for a couple more days where they were and then decided to travel back to visit Lazarus. But while they waited, Lazarus had actually died. So by the time Jesus and his disciples got there, Jesus knew already that Lazarus had passed away. But when he got there, he found everybody so, so sad, as you can imagine. I wonder if Martha and Mary didn't really understand why Jesus hadn't healed their brother when he had healed so many other people. Why hadn't he done anything? when they told him that Lazarus was sick. But you know something really cool is that Jesus didn't want to just heal Lazarus from his sickness. He wanted to bring Lazarus back to life. And that is exactly what he did. He went to the tomb where Lazarus was buried and he said these amazing words. I'm gonna read them to you straight from the Bible. John chapter 11, this is from the um, New King James Version. John chapter 11, and we're going to read verse 43. Now, when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he who had died came out, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. And the next verse says, Then many of the Jews who had come to Mary and had seen the things Jesus did, believed in him. Isn't that so amazing? Jesus performed a miracle that was so incredible that none of them could have ever expected that that's what he planned to do. Jesus brought Lazarus back to life. And it was just a little foretaste of what is going to happen when Jesus comes back again. And everyone who has passed away, but who loved Jesus, is going to come forth from their graves as well. And we'll all be together in heaven. I am so excited for that day. And I am so thankful that the story of Lazarus is in the Bible the way that it is so that we can see a little picture of what Jesus wants to do with us. Bring us back to life. Now, if you um, want to participate in like a little craft idea, we got this lesson from Gracelink from the kindergarten lesson. And I've actually put the link for today's lesson in the description box below. And so you can click that link. And if you scroll down to page eight, you can print off this craft page. And it's got this awesome outline of a heart that says Jesus loves you the best way. So many times 
we have an idea in our head of how we want Jesus to answer our prayers, how we want Jesus to do things. But sometimes Jesus has a different plan. We might not always understand it at first, but just like Jesus proved that he was trustworthy to Mary and Martha when he brought Lazarus back to life, we can trust Jesus with every problem that we bring to him. He might not solve it in the same time frame we want him to. He might not solve it in the same way that we want him to, but we can trust that Jesus loves us the best way possible and that no matter what, he is gonna make everything right, bring us back to life when he comes again. I cannot wait for that day. I'm so thankful for this story. Read it together as a family today and um, take this heart, color it, make it all nice and beautiful and give it to someone that you want that person to know that Jesus loves them the best way possible as well. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we love you so much. Thank you for always knowing and doing what is best. Sometimes we don't always understand why you do things a certain way or why you take your time sometimes. But Lord, we trust you because we know that you know best. Help us to trust you more. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy Sabbath, everybody.